Hello friends, it's been a while. Been kind of busy jumping around, but I wanted to bring you another story from Reach Out and Read, Oklahoma. And this book is called Giraffes Can't Dance. And it's by Giles Andretti's and Guy Parker Reese. I sure hope you enjoyed this story. I did. Gerald was a tall giraffe. His neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Oh dear. Now, every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthogs started waltzing and the rhinos rocked on rolled and rolled. <clears throat> the lions danced a tango and was elephants elegant and bold. Oh my, look at him. <laughs> the chimps all did the cha-cha with a very Latin feel. I can almost hear them on that page. <laughs> and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Look at them going. Mm. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked towards the floor. But the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He never felt so sad before. So sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you're just you just need a different song. Do you see the cricket? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. This artwork is exquisite. Oh, look, how beautiful. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. You hear the music on this page, friends? Awesome. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying, and his tail was swinging round. Oh, look at him. Look at that joy. He threw his arms out sideways and the and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leaped up in the air. Ooh, look at that air. Look at him. Gerald's doing it. Ooh. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I'm dancing. Yes, I'm dancing. I'm dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. See the hyenas and the, all the other animals there? They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. I love it. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and star above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. Wasn't that a good story, friends? And may you in your life always find music that you love. Continue to dance, friends, and I will see you at the next story.